Hey guys, Grease Monkey 34 here. Coming to the video about this weird tractor. I'm gonna be turning it into a racing tractor. I got a five speed rear end, 18.5 horizontal motor. So, let's get to work. First, I'm gonna be lowering it, the front end. And how I'm gonna do that is. I'm gonna take this out, the, the front uh, axle. I'm gonna cut a nice notch up in the frame up here. You see it already a little notch, I'm just gonna improve on it. Drop it all the way up, the highest can go up, and weld it solid because you don't want no uh, you don't want no frex, like back and forth movement. So yeah, that's stage one. Stage two is going to be cutting these axles off. Welding the wash up here, welding the bracket here, and welding the axle onto the bracket. Could you want a little bit more rake? As you can see, they're like zero rake or camber, as you call it. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, I got the hood off. I never had a I had a muffler on it before, but I took it off a long time ago. So the headers. Not one thing you do want to have nice headers. I'm going to make them go here and then go all the way to the back after. But for now, we'll focus on the steer, uh, steering. So the front end is the two bolts here I took out already. The two more here holding it. I got the, the steering arm. This is the lowest point of the tractor, so when I raise this up to here. This here is going to be as bended and not going to be there. It's going to be straight. So you're not going to need it there. Because that will grind on the ground. Same on this side, two bolts. Yeah. So I get to work. I got this on loosen. I had to put in the vise. That okay. Look pretty straight. thinking should I take a grinder and cut this up? I got it cut. I didn't make it straight across. So when you fit it up inside Yeah, you put it up inside, it'll, uh, it'll be more up. And when you cut these chunks out, this top piece should touch the top of this. So, next step, I'm going to cut these out, mark them, cut them all the way up. They're going to weaken this whole front area, but when you weld this back in there, it'll make it strong. So, let's do that. Okay, I got it cut out. As you can see. There was a spring here. I moved it and I shortened it. As you can see there. So now there's nothing in the way. So now I'm going to take that axle and slide it up in. Or does this fit up here? Oh, it'll fit like a glove. Oh, 
fits like a glove. Oh. Imagine to the outside of the axle, to the center. Three and five eighths. Three and five eighths. There we go. Nice and tucked up there. Yeah, all the way up. So I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna weld it fully around here, and then I'm gonna weld some of it up in there. So I'll catch you guys then. There we go, got it all welded up. Nice and strong. Same with this side. And I got some uh, little tack walls underneath. Just in case it's try to move. Yeah, they're all ready. This will be no problem. I think these ones on the outside got to be bent down. But I'm going to have to see. So let's see. Hey guys, I just uh, let you know I cut out a little this out here, like a nice little angle, and I cut this shorter so it make make it lighter. Every every bit counts. You can see uh, I cut out that little bit, and I cut out this piece. I got like a good pound and a half, two pounds. Because you don't need it, this is only going to support the hood. Nothing else. So, inch and three quarter, no, inch and a half there, and two inch here. Yeah. Okay, next I'm going to hook up the steering arm. I'm going to bend some stuff and see if I can get it work. Okay, I got the steering arms. All I have to do with this one, and just flip it upside down. Same with this one to flip it. And you got some clamps, but this not moving anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. Pretty nice. So now, <coughs> and this original stand on on the rewrite for now. Now I cut that off. Take a, a bigger washer up here, weld a plate here, and weld the axle to the plate. And I had some camber too. So y'all. Okay guys, the plan is, like I found this piece of a C channel. So I'm going to uh, grind this down a little bit so it'll fit in there. Cut chunks out of it, and then uh, drill a three-quarter hole and make it slide over top, so it will steer back and forth. And on the outside here, I'll weld my uh, axle. Okay, guys, I got the hole drilled through the C channel, as you can see. I cut off the old uh, steering knuckles. So that all lined up perfect. And I got the three quarter inch bolt going through. Like bury any play. I only got this tacked on for now. Is a uh, three quarter axle. But I think that's where it's going to go. So yeah. Let's throw a tire on and you'll see. I think it looked pretty sick. Going to be pretty low. Once I remove some of the deck stuff off the tractor, it'll sit pretty good. That might be a problem after, but I don't know. I might be using smaller tires than these, even. 
we'll see. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. So uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. I'm gonna make that aside now. Hey guys, I like got it done. Got one side done. It all painted. This is what it's supposed to look like. It all lined. I got a three quarter inch bolt and it's uh, about six and six inches long. It slides on there nice and easy, then you take another bolt and shove it down in. Nice tight fit. And it pivots nice. So yeah, can't wait to get the other side done. And they're gonna have a nice rake to it. I think it's about 30 degrees. Or 22 degrees I put. 22, yeah. So it'll be nice. I'd like a little bit longer bolt, but what you gonna do? I like it to be wider. Okay, I'll do that aside now, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I got it all bolted together. I got the tires on. I got a little uh, two-inch spacer in there to space out the tire. Now on this side, I got the oh, I got all the connecting wires on. Oh, I still gotta alter this one. I don't like how low it is. It might scrape. But everything works. See, a tire needed a small one. So I think it turned out pretty good. I'm definitely going to sit low. Got to cut that pulley off for sure. So yeah, that's how I'm going to drop the front end. Next, they're going to be the rear. A little more challenging. I'm going to do the jack shaft. I'm thinking in the center, take all this off to take the back fenders off because I'm going to have to cut them around here to fit these tires and lower it about four inches. So, got it nice, yeah. So, that's what I'm doing. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.